हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आईटी प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो इज टॉप फाइव इश्यूज इन विंडोज 11 सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Microsoft just announced the Windows 11 and we all waited so long for this. The last major version of Windows was Windows 10 and it got released in 2015. So it's been 6 year that we get new version of Windows. In between there were no major updates in terms of user interface, features, supported apps etc. Microsoft planned to launch the Windows 10X. but it also got suspended due to some unknown reasons so as we did not get any major update there were a lot of expectations from the windows 11 and the expectations were that we will get new user interface features and many new things yes we did get some of the new things like we got new user interface sharp icons etc but at the same time there are some issues which microsoft should look into As Windows 11 was supposed to increase the usability and not to decrease it. So let's see what are the things which Microsoft should look into and what are the things which Microsoft should add back into Windows 11 because the issues which I'm going to talk about are related to functionalities, usability and there are some issues which are related to features the first issue is update this is one of the most annoying problem for almost all the windows users as when we are working and suddenly from nowhere we get the windows update and our system go into update mode which means we just have to sit idle and wait for it to get completed other operating system has solved this problem somehow by introducing some solutions like small chunks of updates or background updates etc and after you are done with your updates you just need to restart your device and that's it in windows we do not get background updates or updates in small chunks yes we can pause the updates or refrain the updates to take place without our consent but whenever we do it we have to wait for a long time till it gets completed so this is one very annoying issue which microsoft should look into because as we are getting into more and more advanced technologies this problem should have been solved by now and here as you can see i can only pause my updates or i can go with some advanced option an advanced option i can just turn on and off some little things for example i can set my active hours and what it will do it will not update my system in these active hours but still in case if it gets started to update outside my active hours it will still take a lot of time so it means i have to sit idle and wait for it to get completed so there is no option of small chunks of updates or updates in background so microsoft should look into this problem the next problem is control panel it will be very surprising for many people even though they have encountered this problem and that is we still have two control panels in the windows 11 yes i am talking about two control panels let me open it first of all i'll search for settings and here it is now let me open control panel and here it is you will be surprised to know that we get almost same functionalities in both these control panels and they address the same issues i was hoping that we might get rid of this problem in this version of windows but still there are two of them sometime we get confused to open which one to look for our solution and most of the time we are looking into the wrong one so microsoft should solve this problem and they should merge both of them together or make them for completely different purposes the next problem which a lot of people have faced and complained about windows 11 is related to widgets if i go to my taskbar here it is this is the button to open your widgets well many people have faced the issue while using this tool when you click on this a lot of people have complained that 
it becomes blank. They do not see anything here, which means widget board may appear empty. And a lot of people have complained about that. I'm not facing this issue, but many people are facing this issue still at this time. Apart from having blank screen, there is another issue. And that is if you click on any of the application in your widgets, it may not appear in the foreground which means it may not work or it may not open so that you can work on it. Microsoft has presented some solution to overcome this problem. First one is that they ask the people to log out from their account and then again sign in and this issue will get solved. The second solution which Microsoft has presented that is go to your task manager and here is my task manager. Go to your more details from here go to your widgets i'll go to my background processes so i will press w and here is my widget what they have said they said to just end this task we are done with ending our widget task and just open it again and microsoft claim that people will not see this problem anymore but this is not a permanent solution because there are a lot of windows user who are beginner or newbies so Microsoft should solve this problem from their end so that people can use this feature without any problem. So that was all about it. And now let's move ahead. The next problem is start menu search. Majority of the users, including me, like to use the search menu features in Windows instead of going to a certain directory to open a file or go to the application just to launch it. We just search for it and start working on it. The problem of my concern here is start menu search do not work sometimes means it gets stuck and many people have complained about it. For example, if I open my start menu, I will press my windows key and I have to wait for it to get opened and then I can start typing. In windows 10, that was not the problem. You can just press the windows key and can start typing. But in windows 11, you have to wait for it to get opened and then you can start typing. But some people are facing more severe problem and that is this start menu gets stuck. So the solution which Microsoft has presented for now is open your run dialog box and to open it, press windows button plus R. And this is your run dialog box. Just close this and now your start menu should work really fine so this is the solution which microsoft has presented for now but microsoft should give a permanent solution the next problem which i'm going to talk about is usability problems as you can see on my screen if i right click here i get the option to refresh my system but let me open a file manager so if i right click here i do not get any refresh option here so in case if I have to refresh my system, I have to go to my desktop and then only I can refresh my system. That is one problem. The next problem which I'm going to discuss which is related to usability is drag and drop option. Let me open my browser and here is my Gmail account. I will compose an email. So let's say I want to attach a file to my email. Earlier in Windows 10 or Windows 8, we just need to click on our file and we have to just drag it and we could drop it into our Google Chrome. But this is not happening in Windows 11. We cannot drag any file and we cannot drop it anywhere. So Microsoft should look into this one because most of the time user do not want to click on this file icon and then attach their file because it is more feasible and easy to go to their folder and most of the time their folder is open in front of them and they used to just drag it and drop it wherever they want. Other thing is which Microsoft has done is they have updated their user interface but there is a problem with it. If I go into my power and sleep setting earlier we used to get more sophisticated and more informed interface. We do not get many options this time. Yes we do have same functionality but we have to look for it particularly. For example, for power mode, I have to go into different section and for sleep and screen, I have to go into different section and same goes for battery saver. Earlier, that was not the problem. Let me open what I'm talking about. I will search for 
power and here is edit power plan i will just click on it i will cancel it and this is what i am talking about here you can see we get every option here we do not have to go into different section and then look for particular functionality earlier we used to get this screen by just going to our battery icon and then right clicking on it so these were some of the problem which are related to usability which microsoft should look into and that brings us to the end of today's video i hope you have learned a lot of new things today and if that is the case please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon as well if you have something to ask please leave a comment and we will get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care